Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you yet another compact wireless microphone system. This one is uh, from Bytron and it's the VXM22 model. So if you've been following me online then you probably noticed that uh, recently I've been reviewing a lot of these compact wireless microphone systems. Uh, and so this one is very similar to some of the other ones that I recently showcased. Uh, as in, it's very similar design. So both the, the tr transmitter and the receivers, uh, they're kind of similar shape. They're basically these little boxes uh, and they're all self-contained, meaning that the transmitter also has a built-in microphone uh, capsule right in there. These are also very light units, so it makes it very easy to conceal or just basically put on your talent. And the audio that you're hearing right now is actually from one of these microphones that I have up here. Uh, and the receiver is on the camera. Uh, and uh, yeah, anyways, kind of the way the transmitter works is that, like I said, it's all self-contained, meaning that the microphone capsule is actually built right into it. Uh, and again, that's what you're hearing me on. But if you want to, you can kind of use it like a traditional wireless microphone system where you plug in a lavalier microphone. And when you buy this system, it does actually come with a lavalier microphone like this one here. Uh, and uh, later on in the video, I'm going to plug this in so you guys can hear sort of the difference between using this lav microphone that they provide uh, and then the capsule that's built into the, the actual transmitter. Now, of course, you know, if you have another lavalier microphone, you can use that too. Uh, here on the side you have a USB-C connection because the transmitters and receivers have built-in lithium-ion batteries uh, and so that allows you to power it. Uh, you don't need any external batteries and this will power the units for five hours. More or less that's what I've been getting and that's what the manufacturer advertises it as. Uh, the, then next to that you have the power button which also acts as a mute button. So when you click on it uh, you'll see it will mute it there. Uh, on the front, you notice you have a digital display and the digital display basically uh, you know, shows you all the common information that you want to know, what channel you're in, what's your audio levels, things like that. Uh, here on the bottom uh, of the transmitter, you actually have a, a settings button for the channel, so you can change which channel you're on. And then you have a plus and minus for adjusting either the channels or you can adjust the volume also. On, that's basically coming off the, the transmitter. On the receiver side, uh, like I said, it's very similar design, very same size, as, you know, and the weight and everything of this box. Uh, the power button is on the top. Uh, on the side, you have the USB-C connection for charging the internal batteries. Uh, you have your line out, so you can connect that to your uh, your camera or your phone. They do actually provide you uh, the two different cables that you need. Let's say a TRS cable for cameras or TRRS for smartphones and things like that. And then you also have a microphone jack, which is nice, which because it allows you basically to monitor the audio before it actually goes to your recording device. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you do have also the same settings on the bottom as you have on the transmitter. So if you can change the, the channel and you can just change the volume, all that stuff. The mute button is again also the power button. So if you just press it, you can mute and unmute it. Uh, and then uh, on the back side here, you'll have the little clip. So this allows you to clip it like I have it here to my shirt or in case of the transmitter, most likely you're going to put this in a cold shoe mount of your camera uh, because this fits actually any standard cold shoe or hot shoe mount uh, on, on different cameras out there. The same thing again, the, you know, this, the same kind of a clip you have on the transmitter itself. Now, aside from the design itself, the specs for the system are, like I mentioned, five hour battery life and the working distance that the manufacturer advertises is 50 meters or 164 feet, which I'm going to test right now outside. So now uh, to test out the performance of the system on a sort of a longer range, uh, I'm going to be walking away from the camera. There isn't much wind today, uh, but if there is some wind, you're probably going to hear it because the system does not come with any uh, basically little microphone covers, little windscreens. Uh, so that's one thing to pay attention to and also just I guess pay attention to see whether the signal cuts in and out. I can tell you right away that just adjusting the basically the preamps in here and then the audio levels in the transmitter and then in conjunction with the levels in my camera was kind of a nightmare because I did already one test and I, I got horrible horrible uh, basically floor no, noise floor. 
All right, so now I'm going to do the long range test and um, and uh, and so right now, hopefully the settings that I finally chose for this uh, test are going to be much better than what I did before in my previous settings. So anyways, well, I guess we'll see once I walk away. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm about 50 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds. Uh, open line of sight, microphones right here uh, and I'll keep on walking further. All right, now I'm about 100 feet away, uh, 100 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds. I'll keep on walking even more. All right, so now I'm about 50 meters away from the camera or more or less 164 uh, feet. And anyways, this is how it sounds right now. It's open line of sight. Now I do have a car coming in, so we'll see if that So overall, I can tell you guys, I'm not very impressed with the system. And there's too many reasons. First one is reliability. It just cuts out way too much, too often. Whether it's the distance or whether sometimes it's just working in a close proximity, but if there's, let's say, Wi-Fi interference and things like that. Uh, the other reason is the, the noise that you're gonna get with this. It's not so much the noise with the microphone itself. The capsule, I think, sounds good. It's just the fact that the something happens between the transmitter and the receiver uh, creates a lot of noise sometimes unless you have the settings perfect so adjusting the volume on your, tr on your transmitter and then volume on your receiver and then volume on your camera or your recording device like you have to do that all perfectly and you kind of have to it seems like it's different with different devices that you connected to so yeah not very impressed with that and it just means that you know it takes longer to set up the system uh, before you get, you're ready to go and start recording so uh, definitely there's, I think, other options out there, although they're more expensive, but options that just simply work. You just turn it on and you can get good audio. All right, so now I'm back inside and uh, this is right now actually the audio that you're hearing is coming in through the lavalier microphone that's supplied with the kit when you buy it. So I have the lav mic basically going here uh, to the transmitter and that uh, goes to the receiver on the camera. So this will give you again an idea of just how the audio sounds using the the provided lavalier microphone. Now keep in mind again, you can use any other lavalier microphone that you have. So you have a, if you already own one or you have a preference for another one, uh, then you can of course plug that into the transmitter. Uh, as far as the, the basically kind of signal quality you're gonna get, there's a lot of, I would say, playing you can do because you can adjust the, the levels basically or the preamps on the transmitter, on the receiver itself, and obviously on your camera. So uh, I noticed that with different cameras, like right now I'm recording on the Blackmagic Package 6K, uh, but with different cameras you really will have to sort of play around with the, the settings so that you get the minimum uh, the kind of noise floor and uh, you know the clearest basically signal, the audio signal. Um, but anyway, anyways, with kind of quick settings that I did, this is how I sound. And again, this is using the provided lavalier microphone system. Uh, but anyways, um, hopefully this video gives you guys a good idea of what you can expect from this system. And I guess the last thing maybe I'll mention is that I guess the biggest feature about the system is its price. It's basically the most affordable from all the systems I've uh, tested out so far. Now I will be doing another video where I'm going to compare this and all the other compact wireless microphone systems that I reviewed already and uh, next to the, the original one uh, which is from Rode, which is the Rode Wireless Go. So if you guys want to see how all of these systems perform and how the different accessories, lav mics, all that stuff, how they all work and how they compare to the Rode Wireless Go, uh, then definitely make sure you guys are head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com and subscribe to my newsletter so you're notified when that post is online uh, and, and so that you're the first one so you can actually watch it and see again the comparison of this and all the other compact wireless microphone systems right next to Rode Wireless Go. Anyways, my name is Tom Antos and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!